What's up, boxing fans? My name is Andrew Ruiz Jr., and welcome to Boxing Sphere. So, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Tyrone Spong. It's uh, official. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, a uh, fight will be on the 16th of July, July 16, 2022, over in Mexico. According to uh, MMA Junkie, um, it will be headlining a uh, Trailer Fight Club event. So it's a Trailer event. Uh, it will be on Fight TV. So tune into Fight TV if you want to see it. Uh, like I said, it will be on the 16th of July over at the Plaza de Toros in Mexico City, Mexico. Scheduled for 10 rounds. And um, yeah, very interesting how... This is on trailer. I thought Andy was with a PBC and I thought they were trying to make the Luis Ortiz fight. And now Ruiz is all of a sudden fighting on a trailer card. Interesting. Um you know Andy's my boy. Uh as you guys also in the beginning of the video made a little intro for me way back in the day. I think that videos that clip is like almost ten years old now. Um, back when I had my older channel, so my Boxing Spirit channel. But, man, I, I just can't help but wonder what's going on behind the scenes when it comes to the business of uh, PBC. Like, you know, can they afford Andrew Ruiz or did they let go of Andrew Ruiz? Like, what's going on? Plus, Andrew Ruiz right now is no longer with Team Canelo. Uh, he has uh, left, to my understanding, he has left uh, Canelo's camp and... Um, now he's training under a different trainer. Honestly, I don't know who he's training under with these days. But a very interesting move by Andrew Ruiz to fight Spong on a trailer card. Um, I'm sure he's excited to fight in Mexico. Uh, Andrew Ruiz is of Mexican descent. Um, 32 years old now. 34-2. and two, 22 wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. Uh, coming off a win back in May of last year. It's been a year now since he last fought. When he fought Chris Ariola. It's been more than a year. Basically... Uh, when it comes to fight day uh, this July. Has he fought in Mexico before? Yeah, early on in his career, he's fought in De Mexico back in 2009-2010. Uh, he hasn't fought in Mexico since then. Like I said, he is of Mexican descent. Um, I'm sure he's going to pack uh, a good crowd over in Mexico. And I'm sure people will show up to watch. But against Tyrone Spong, who's mainly known for his uh, mixed martial arts career and kickboxing career um i don't really know much about him but uh i remember he was supposed to fight uh alexander uzik for uzik's pro debut well for uzik's heavyweight debut i should say but i think spunk tested positive for covid and he ended up getting replaced but as uh, a professional boxer he's undefeated 14 and 0 13 wins coming by way of nagar tko uh fought all over the place germany u.s um, Dominican Republic, Mexico uh, he's fought everywhere and uh, he hasn't fought as a boxer though uh, since 2019 but I think he recently fought in MMA or some type of a uh, different you know combat sport uh, and he ended up getting knocked out I believe so um, I think that was this year or last year but after three years of not being in the boxing ring here he is he'll be back in uh, July 16 against Mr. Ruiz. So, what do you guys think about this fight? And, you know, what do you guys think about what's going on behind when it comes to, behind the scenes when it comes to PBC? Um, specifically for Ruiz. Like, is he still with them? If you know the answer, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And, like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.